Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'll talk about everything you need to know about Neon Pothos and share 5 important things to avoid when caring for this beautiful plant. Through my own care routine I've discovered what works best and what doesn't. But don't worry, Neon Pothos is very easy to care for. So let's get started. The Neon Pothos is a stunning plant known for its vibrant lime green leaves. The heart-shaped leaves are glossy and smooth, adding a pop of bright color to any space. Unlike other varieties, the Neon Pothos leaves have a consistent solid neon hue, making them stand out in your plant collection. The younger leaves are lighter in color, and as they mature, they become darker. These plants grow in a trailing or climbing manner, suitable for hanging baskets or training on trellis. I've noticed that when grown in a hanging basket, the new leaves tend to be smaller. However, when provided with support, the leaves grow larger because the stems have more support to develop. This allows the plant to focus more energy on leaf growth rather than maintaining long, unsupported vines. So, if you want the leaves to grow bigger, the first thing to avoid is using hanging baskets or allowing the stems to hang. Instead, provide support for optimal growth. Now, let's talk about light requirements. This plant thrives best in bright, indirect light. I keep mine about 7 feet away from a north-facing window. I live in the northern hemisphere. In spring and summer, it gets around 1 hour of morning sun from the east, but since it's far from the window, it is doing fine. Many say that they can grow in low light, which is true, but that will slow down the growth and the plant will not thrive. If you notice that the vines become longer and stretch without producing new leaves, or only very small leaves, it means that it needs more light. Move it to a brighter spot. The distance from one leaf to another should be a maximum of 2 inches. The second thing to avoid is direct sun exposure. This plant is very sensitive to direct sunlight. If you noticed brown spots on the leaves, it could be due to too much light. It can tolerate only very gentle morning sun from a distance. When it comes to watering, Neon Pothos is not a very thirsty plant. Water it only when the top half of the soil is dry. Another sign that your plant needs water is if you notice the leaves starting to wilt or drop. I prefer soaking the plant for 15 minutes, as this allows the soil to become evenly wet and prolongs the time until next watering. No matter which method you use, always let the excess water to drain out completely. Never let the plant sink in water, as the roots will start to rot very quickly. So, the third thing to avoid is overwatering. This plant is very sensitive to overwatering, so it's better to underwater than overwater it. Always check the soil before watering. The fourth thing to avoid is over fertilizing. While Neon Pothos needs nutrients to thrive, it requires a small amount of fertilizer. During the growing season, I use one quarter of recommended dosage of liquid fertilizer once per month. Too much or too frequent fertilizer can harm this plant. When I used more, I noticed brown spots and edges on the leaves. I tried different brands and they all produced the same results. So I drastically reduced the dosage 
which has resulted in healthy new leaves without brown spots. Neon Pothos thrives in temperatures between 65 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It's important to keep the plant away from cold drafts or sudden temperature changes, as they can stress the plant. Additionally, this plant prefers moderate to high humidity levels. If the air is too dry, the leaf edges might turn brown. I use humidifier as the best option for increasing humidity. If you don't have a humidifier, you can place the plant on a tray filled with water and pebbles. Placing it in a bathroom with a window could be ideal. Avoid misting the leaves as this doesn't significantly increase humidity and can lead to other issues. Instead, showering the plant occasionally is a better method, as I mentioned before. It's essential to keep this plant clean and free from dust. While plants in nature may not need leaf cleaning, indoor conditions are different, requiring regular care. I shower mine once every two months to remove dust, then I clean the leaves with a soft towel using my homemade recipe for shiny and healthy leaves. This mixture also helps prevent pests and keeps the leaves shiny for an extended period. If you're interested in seeing how I prepare it, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's very easy and useful, taking only 3 minutes to make. When it comes to repotting, Choosing the right pot size and soil mix is crucial. The plant prefers a well-draining potting mix. Avoid heavy soils that retain too much moisture, as they can lead to fungal issues. Ensure the pot has drainage holes to prevent water from accumulating at the bottom, which can cause root rot. The fifth thing to avoid is repotting into a pot larger than needed. Planting in a bigger pot increases the risk of root rot because excess soil retains moisture, leading to fungal problems. A smaller pot is often better. When changing pot size, go only 1 to 2 inches larger. For example, mine is currently suitable for its size and I may consider changing the pot size next spring if I see roots coming out of the drainage holes or if the plant is root-bound. If not, I'll simply change the soil next year and use the same size pot. This refreshes the plant, provides more nutrients and reduces the need for frequent fertilizing, which is best for neon pothos. Propagating neon pothos is a rewarding way to expand your plant collection. The process involves taking stem cuttings and rooting them in water or a well-draining potting mix. Ensure the cuttings have at least two nodes from where the roots will develop. For a step-by-step -step guide, you can watch my video on propagating golden pothos, as the procedure is very similar. I demonstrate each stage of propagating from stem cuttings, providing detailed instructions and results. Pruning is also crucial for maintaining the health and appearance of your neon pothos. Regular pruning helps remove dead or yellowing leaves, encourages new growth and prevents the plant from becoming too leggy. Use clean sharp scissors or pruning shears to make clean cuts just above a leaf node. It's normal for mature older leaves to naturally yellow and die off over time. Removing these leaves not only improves the plant's appearance, but also redirects energy to new growth. And finally, here is an extra tip. To promote balanced growth, rotate your neon pothos every few weeks. 
This helps prevent the plant from leaning towards one direction and ensures all sides receive even light exposure. This simple practice encourages a fuller and more symmetrical appearance over time. I hope this information helps you successfully grow your plant. If you have any questions or comments, please write them below. I'll be happy to answer. If you like my work, you can support my channel by clicking the subscribe button or joining my YouTube community for only 99 cents per month. You'll get three plant watering planners for free. More info in the description. Thanks for watching.